Now, our second guests of the day are from the Muslim Scouts Fellowship. And there is an iftar, an amazing iftar event this weekend. I introduce the studio, Mr. Abdul Qayyum and Mr. Muhammad Osman. Assalamu alaikum. I love that, that, that sign. That's the, the, is that the Scouts salute? Or scout, what, so what's Scouts honor? Is, this, is, is that something different or am I making that up? No, so the Scouts honor is what you say um, and you, you sort of hold the Scout sign. Ah, right. Oh, so that, that's, that's the salute. Yes. So I, I salute you as yes. well. So, so tell us more about this, this fellowship. When I hear the word fellowship, I have to admit, I think of the fellowship of the rings. It's as exciting as that. It's exactly as exciting. Not as old, but it's definitely as exciting. Oh. So the Muslim Scout Fellowship um, started in 1998. There was a group of adults who came together and wanted to give young people a new way of developing themselves through the outdoors and oh. learning skills. Okay. Um, they then joined the Scout Association, which is the UK's largest youth organization. Um, yes. up and down the country um, and basically they aim to develop the young person physically, socially, spiritually um, and intellectually and at present we've got 60 Muslim Scout groups right up from Edinburgh through to the northwest, the Midlands and down in the south. So how, how many say 60? 60 and growing. 60 and growing. Well, and, and how many children would there be per group? Which is oh. There's eight, the eight East London which is based in the claim. We've got um, 60 Six participants wow. and a waiting list of uh, Gosh, so many more. So I, I, I was going to be try, try and be intelligent and work out the maths, but I think we leave that one. It's in the hundreds and Oh, that's fantastic, and, 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 and I, I imagine the children are coming in the, in the, in the, in the droves oh, uh, for something like this. Even yeah. parents. Even uh, parents. Don't bet the parents. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, what, you know, that's what's amazing for adults. It's not only about the children who develop yeah. themselves, but the adults come along for an amazing journey um, as leaders, as helpers, and they learn so much as well. So they don't need to have a scouting background. Right. All the learning is there for them to get involved. And obviously, this, this is Muslim scout. So, so, is this different? I mean, I know you've got the, the, the kind of the, the, the tog, is it the toggle and the and, and, the, and, the, and the scarf and the, and the badges are there. I mean, my daughter's part of one of these. I think she's part of the Good May Seventh every grade, and, and yeah. she puts. It. So, what makes this unique? So, is it, as, as, a, as a Muslim scout, and how is it different from all the other scouts that we see? I mean, um, we do the activities just like any other scout group. We've got the badges. But with the Muslim Scouts, we have that sensitivity, the cultural sensitivity. We add um, the Islamic um, education as well. Sure. Um, and then the whole environment as well. It's, it's unique. It's like a family. So we're, we're part of the Scout Association, well and truly. Um, and part of the Scout Association vision is to make a representative of the wider yes. population. Yeah. And so that's what the Muslim Scout Fellowship hopes to do is make the scouting movement representative of the wider UK population. Um, and we've got the backing of the Scout Association to do that, which is amazing. So it, it's it's a challenge because a lot of Muslims don't know about scouting. And to those who don't know, I say, go find out. Absolutely. So, I mean, do, do tell us that. I mean, I, I have to say, the, the, the most I know about scouting is when my daughter comes home and we sew on another badge. And, and, and there's just an array of badges which are growing day by day. So, so what kind of activities? I mean, I, I should know this. And, and, and I know my wife and daughter are probably watching this thinking. How do you not know? You shouldn't know this. I don't. A shame on me for not knowing. But what kind of skills does a child learn off the back of, and what kind of activities can they do? As you know, uh, the activities or badges are based on certain things that the uh, child has to do, um, from the typical camping, pioneering, engineering uh, skills, to um, campaigning. So recently, my group, 8th East London, we took part in Community Week, so we had to do an activity, and the kids chose the activity. Um, and I'm just found with the, they actually organised the activity and uh, so this activity that we did a few weeks back was making uh, child poverty, uh, making it aware. Um, so they did a workshop on that and then they raised um, food for a local food bank. I think we got just over 400 cans of food um, for 40 families. Wow. And obviously the kids, I guess, they get a chance to and yeah. learn how to, to, to I mean, I, 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 and then, like the fire, I guess. The skills, going back to skills, um, that we develop is obviously the physical skills, but also the skills such as being a Muslim, really, just mm. being part of the community, understanding their need, their role as being citizens of the UK and the local community. I think we actually have a video, uh, which is of one of our young, one of the leaders, one of the leaders who, 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 who I'm going to talk to us a bit more about their involvement with Scouts. So let's have a look at the screen and see what they have to say. Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, my name is Amar Faz and I'm from Luton, 25th Beach Hill Scouts. Uh, I've only really been a Scout leader for about uh, five to six months now, so I'm a relatively new Scout leader. 
Um, one of the main reasons why I actually joined was because I felt that there was a need, especially in the Luton area, for, to help the youth uh, with uh, you know, their behavioural issues, a lot of things like that in and around the area and I felt that because I had a bit more free time on my hands I could contribute towards that. Uh, just a bit more about myself, I had finished my university degree and then got a job so I was kind of tied up before that uh, with other things. Uh, of, of course that is no excuse for not joining but since I have joined Scouts and Martial it's been a very good experience for myself and I can safely say or uh, hopefully say that those around me have enjoyed my presence as well. Uh, one of the main things I enjoy are the actual camps that I've been on so I've been, I've been around in Scouts for just a few months as I said and I've actually been to three camps already this being my third one and uh, I think that's uh, that's a good good exposure to what the actual scouting life is and especially in particular Muslim scouts and how it teaches the actual the Muslim youth of this country how to conduct themselves in day-to-day -day lives and expose themselves to various aspects of life and hopefully inshallah can make them to go on and become great leaders of our society and bring back the actual the Muslim the, st the strong face of the Muslim nation. Thank you. So that, that, that was very useful. You know, one thing I have noticed with the Scouts is a lot of the kind of values that they teach the children do align with the kind of Islamic values we would want our children to have anyway. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. uh, so, so loyalty, yeah. honour, trust, um, doing a good, a good deed every day, all those sort of align perfectly yeah. with our Muslim tradition and our Muslim values um, in terms of helping people as well um, and becoming a more well-rounded individual. So becoming a citizen a Benny Adam rather than a Benny Manchester or a Benny London. Becoming a human being and a well-rounded human being um, is there with scouting and they've got all the structure, the support to make us and help the young people grow and develop and to become leaders. I mean, now, um, obviously you, know, with, with the, you guys have been involved in scouts for quite a few years now. What would you say has been the highlight but for each of you, I suppose I'll start with yourself. What would have been the main thing that, that, that you think has been running for five years, Hamza, and uh, it's grown from strength to strength. And um, this sheer enthusiasm, energy that the young children bring in every week. I mean, we're supposed to be closing for Ramadan, but we've, we've had to force, uh, we've been forced to open. So we're, all of us are tired, but the kids come in uh, in this heat, the fasting, and yeah. they're playing football. Of course, of course. Well, where do they get the energy from? It's just <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> and you, sir? Um, well, I owe a large part of my personality to my time in Scouts as a young person. Ah. So my confidence, my ability to sort of network and meet people and develop new problem-solving skills is from that. But even now as a leader, I've learned a lot in how to deal with challenging behavior, mm. how to motivate people, how to work with young people. But most importantly is the honesty. The children have they give you feedback straight away when you're doing something good yeah they're on they're on to it you're doing something bad and just the level of honesty i've got so from that's them. where my daughter gets it from <laughs> now i understand now i understand why i get disciplined by my, my eight-year-old it's because of the scouts yeah. now, now obviously you, you you have this coming up this weekend to tell us more this about weekend. that what, what is it actually if that on the start so um it's a family event to bring uh, all members of family and to join fellow scouts uh, around London to have iftar together and pray tarawi um, and see the mosque that we've been fundraising for really and just have fun. Uh, where is this taking place? Um, the scout main headquarters which is in Gilpot. Oh, Gil of course. Gil yeah. Gil yeah. And of course if our viewers, the, the children, they're obviously seeing this, they're going to be excited. If they want to get involved, learn more about the scouts or just find the, the local chapter or brigade or you know, or what have you, how, how do they get involved? So the UK Muslim Scout Fellowship, they can Google that, or UK Muslim Scouts are on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We have groups locally, um, if, you'd like, if they'd like to get involved, by all means, but we're also asking for leaders, so adults, hey, you know what, come along, join. It's not only about the children. Yeah. You've got time, you've got skills, why not, why not get other people to benefit from it? So, so adults and children all welcome. Exactly. exactly. Fantastic. Well, good luck with you, Iftar, and thank you so much for joining us and telling us so much. I've, I've certainly learned a lot more about Scouts than I knew before, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well,